Hey, I'm Anna, and today I'm making a rigatoni with roasted cauliflower and white beans. I recommend always having a few cans of white beans or cannellini beans for pastas because I often find that sometimes at the end of the week, maybe you want to make a pasta, but you don't have exactly the right ingredients, so you just end up putting a bunch of vegetables in it which is great, but it's really helpful to have a can of white beans in there. It just helps with the flavor. And I always add the juice from the beans as well, just so it gets a little bit more liquid in there if you're not making a full sauce. This one is so good. I put some sun-dried tomatoes in there and zucchini and other good stuff. So I really hope you like it. And here it is. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is chop up a large cauliflower and you can do this really roughly because you just want it to kind of be like in bits. So then you're gonna put some olive oil on that and put it in the oven at 450 degrees for about 20 or 25 minutes. Then you're going to chop up a zucchini. I decided to chop it into kind of like thick matchsticks, but you can chop it however way you like it. And then I just roughly chopped some sun-dried tomatoes. You can also put capers or olives or anything like that. Then you're gonna add your pasta to the boiling water. I used rigatoni for this recipe. And then once the pasta is done, you're gonna put some olive oil in a pan and add your zucchini matchsticks to it. And zucchini cooks really fast, so you don't have to have it in there for that long. Then I added two large cloves of minced garlic and just stir that together. And after the zucchini is a little bit soft, then you're going to add those sun-dried tomatoes. As well as one can of cannellini beans with the liquid. And stir that up together. Once your cauliflower is done, you can put that in. All the bits will have shrunken up a lot and hopefully gotten kind of blackened. And then stir all of that together. And then I added about four handfuls of spinach. You can also use kale or any other greens that you like to put in pasta. And then lastly, some salt and pepper and lemon juice. And this is what it should look like. Just pour your pasta over it and mix it in. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please subscribe for more and like and comment and share and follow me on Instagram at Plant Based Pasta Party and you can find the recipe below or at pvpasta.com and I will see you soon.